Hello, my name is Joshua Holka, and today we're going to be playing the game called Joust Pong, as you can see right here at this little cartridge thing. Um, so Joust Pong is the name of the game, and it's basically a combination of two, like, vintage games, Joust and Pong. Um, Joust is a game where you'd have to, like, play as a little bird, and you'd dodge all these different other flying birds, and... Um, specifically, that is, in this game, is a pterodactyl that you'd have to dodge. Um, and the game Pong, which I'm sure every single person that's watching this knows what Pong is. It's, it's, you're on one, like, black screen and two bars on the sides of the different, um, on the screen. And there's a ball that goes back and forth and you have to try to block it from going past your end, but try to get it into the opponent's end. Um, it's kind of like big soccer, I guess. <laughs> but, um, this game combines elements from both of those games into one single product, and you end up with Joust Pong. Um, it was originally designed by Alien Bill, and was originally released in 1998 for the Atari 2600 and Windows, or Microsoft Windows. So, um... I'll get it started and I'll explain the different mechanics of the game to you and you'll hear the soundtrack for the game. So here we go. So you have the classic 8-bit. Um, so Joust, Pong, we have the Pong pieces right here. This is, normally you would see only a rectangle playing like regular Pong. But in Joust Pong, you see this thing right here is a wing attached to the back of the Pong piece, which is supposed to be part of the Joust part of the game, where instead of just flying or not flying, sliding up and down, you have to repeatedly press the space bar to flap your wings to go up. And in order to get back down, you just have to fall. You can't control how fast you go down. You just gently glide back down to the ground. Um, the other thing in here is this little pterodactyl, 8-bit pterodactyl. <laughs> um, it, that is from Joust, as I was saying earlier. The pterodactyl flies in between, and the ball goes back and forth, and sometimes it will hit the pterodactyl, or the pterodactyl will hit the different Pong players and make them kind of bounce around and stuff. So, object of the game is the first person to get to 10 points wins the game, and then that's... That's it, and you start a new match. So I will start up the game and see how it goes, because it's very, very difficult to play this way as opposed to, like, normal Pong. So here we go. You see the pterodactyl flying back and forth? Almost messed me up there. Right. Who is going to get the first point? I don't think I've ever gotten the first point playing this game so far. But hopefully, hopefully that will change while I'm actually playing in front of you guys. Up, oh, it did! See, now I have good luck because of UCF, I guess. Or maybe not. <laughs> but as you can, you can see the um, wings flapping as I have to try to jump up and flap my wings to not get beat. Oh, that was not what I was expecting. <laughs> I don't know why it makes that noise every single time you get hit by the pterodactyl, but it does. It's kind of funny. Um, This might actually be the first game that I have a chance of winning, finally. So I played this a couple of times before I started recording it, but um, one thing that I like about this game is that it is very difficult. Like, if you were to play this against the, another human, it would be insanely difficult. Um, but it kind of reminds me of the game that was developed for like mobile stuff, um, Flappy Bird. Because of like how irritating it was to try to 
not like you had to be very coordinated with flapping which is i think flappy bird may have like developed some type of of its mechanics from this game and i'm actually doing pretty well but um i think the those two things are very similar one thing that i don't like about this game so far is that the mechanics seem to be very delayed oh this awesome the first time i actually won hooray celebrate <laughs> um anyway so the thing that i don't like about this game is how delayed all of the interactions seem it seems very like you press a button and then nothing happens until a couple seconds later so there's like latency involved but this is an emulator so it probably wasn't like that originally but I won my first game in front of you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I would highly recommend playing this game. It's actually kind of addicting once you get started because you want to win, and I finally did now. So I highly recommend playing it. Check it out. And I will see you guys at the next Let's Play. All right? Have a good day, everyone. Bye.